Hi guys, it's Chef Angelica, and today I'm gonna to be showing you to make a delicious brunch recipe. It's a sweet potato hash on a skillet. I wanna share with you that on the descriptions I will be listing the ingredients and the measurements. Let's get started by um, telling you guys all the ingredients. Okay, so as you can see, we have five chopped up sweet potatoes. We have four pounds of ground Italian sausage one full bag of chopped up bacon, one full onion. We have some paprika, cumin, and some salt to your discretion. Italian parsley, two chopped up fine jalapenos, mozzarella cheese, queso fresco, and two chopped up green apples. Minced garlic, butter, and some olive oil. The next step, I will be getting started. First step, we're going to add the full bacon inside the skillet. You want to get it nice and crispy. As crispy as you can, but you don't want to burn it. Okay, so as you can see, the bacon is um, about, you know, I would say not too crispy, but just like, just right. So we're going to transfer it to a container. So now we're going to add the onions and the jalapenos with the same oil from the bacon. It gives it a better taste. And we're going to add the jalapenos as well. And we're going to add a good spoon of garlic. Mix it well. Saute them about two minutes okay so as you can see you see the color now we're gonna add our green apple and you're gonna mix that really good and you want to let them cook for about two minutes as well before you transfer them to the bowl Okay, so as you can see, this is the color you want. You want your apples to be semi-cooked, not too soft, but you just want them to be right. Okay, so now we're gonna transfer your apples, your jalapenos, and your onions inside the bowl, and then I'm gonna show you what's next. Okay, so now we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil, and we're gonna start cooking down the meat, the Italian sausage. Okay, so now you're going to add your Italian sausage and you want to put the skillet to medium. I'm going to add all the Italian sausage. You do not want to season the meat because it's already salted. I personally only salt the sweet potatoes. Okay, so as you can see, this is what your meat should look like. We're going to transfer it to a bigger pot while we start cooking everything. Okay, so now you're gonna add eight tablespoons, which equals to one stick. And we're gonna cook the sweet potatoes after you add the butter. You wanna let it melt and, you know, kind of bubble up like this before we pour the sweet potatoes. Okay, so now we're gonna cook our sweet potatoes and you're gonna start adding them to the butter. I would probably do this. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going to start cooking them and I'm going to let them sit for a while. We're going to cover them with the top and we're going to season them. Uh, this is the part where you use the cumin, salt, and paprika to your discretion. So, hold on before I start seasoning. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going to lightly pour some all over the plate. And now we're going to add some paprika. And last but not least, we're going to season it with some salt. And then we're going to mix everything up. Okay, so after you add your seasoning, you're going to mix them very well. As you can see, the butter is bubbling. And we're going to let them steam for about 10 to 15 minutes on medium. Okay, so now we're going to mix the meat with the sweet potatoes and we're going to add the rest of the ingredients inside before we let it sit for about 20 minutes. 
Okay, so now you're going to put all the ingredients together and you're going to mix it. After cooking the sweet potatoes, you're going to mix all the ingredients, your meat, your sweet potatoes, the bacon and everything, you're, you're going to mix it very well. And then we're going to apply the mozzarella cheese on top, as you can see. Now we're going to apply the queso fresco on top. Okay, the next step, you're going to add your Italian parsley on top optional how much you put okay so now we're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes on medium and you're gonna let it steam and you're just gonna close the top and let it cook okay last but not least you're gonna make about four to five holes around and I'm gonna show you this beautiful trick we're gonna slowly drop an egg as you can see I'm gonna repeat that okay so now after applying the eggs you're gonna close it and let them cook until they're over easy or just depending on how you like your egg Okay, so as you can see, this is what it looks like. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.